Yo guys, today we have a bit of a different video, a video that I would have wished for myself when I started with making music, you know. Today I'm showing you a few websites that have personally helped me in music production and that I couldn't imagine living without today. Damn bro, that was a sentence. Of course these aren't the best sites, but they've personally helped me and I think some of you might find them useful as well. The first site I want to talk about is Looperman. I believe Everyone knows that one. For those living under a rock, I'll explain anyway what it is. Loopervan is a website where, as the name suggests, you can get loops and it's all for free. Basically a free version of Splice, but that doesn't mean Looperman is bad. Of course there are some really bad samples there too, but most of the time the loops are very very good. And the best part is, the loops are all royalty free and free of charge. Oh my god. That's beautiful. Next up is Plugin Boutique. Ah, just kidding. As if I buy plugins, am I Jeff Bezos or what? Nah, the plugin site where you can find almost all the plugins you need for free. G meh. G meh. G. G and meh. Where you can find almost all plugins you need for free. From my own experience, every download is safe. I've never heard of people getting a virus from there, so enjoy. By the way, I got all my plugins from there. The next website is Preset Share, where you can share presets. Mostly these are serum or vital presets for all sort of things, whether it's plugs, pads, leads, bass or whatever. At Preset Share, you can find pretty much everything and most of the time it's free. Now I have something for all those using a DAW other than FO Studio. Vocal Remover Punk. That's what Deutsch. Vocalremover.org. As many know, FO Studio has the stems extraction function, and many other DOS don't have this feature. So I'll be nice and show you Vocal Remover. There you can simply extract vocals or drums, bass, and melody. Besides, you can also find the key and BPM of your song slash sample. So it might be really useful if you don't use FO Studio. Um, yeah, that was the video. I hope it helped some of you. Okay, uh, see you in the next video.